stop, stop, stop. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I do the live one too. Yes, I know. I saw your act in the theater. You're really quite good. Quite a certain harmful habit. Hello and welcome. We are breaking up with RBS. This is episode number six. I am Tawny Santabria. And I am JDK Winnikin, and we are here to uh, debunk the junk. Mm-hmm. And we'll explain what that uh, that is in just a minute. How are you doing, Tawny? I am doing really well. How are you? I'm good. Um, feeling good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited. I'd like to extend right at the beginning a welcome to our new listeners mm-hmm. on Warm 106.9 in Seattle. We're really excited to be on this platform. Yes. And isn't it great? Yes. Yeah, it's really fun. So exciting. Yeah, it's really great. And uh, for those of you who are new, uh, this uploads as a podcast on your favorite platform. Uh, We also have a video feed of this if you'd like to see what we look like and see what the dynamic looks like Mm -hmm. um, at our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just look for Breaking Up With Our BS. Uh, Use the whole word on BS. Mm -hmm. And we also have a Facebook group that you can join under the same name and you can look that up. And we have material in between uh, shows, uh, which will now be weekly. We also have some earlier episodes if you'd like to catch those and catch up. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, so here we are. Isn't that exciting? It is so exciting. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. So uh, for the sake of maybe our, you know, our new listeners, uh, maybe given a quick review of of who we are, why we're here, what we're doing might be the Mm -hmm. place to start. So Mm -hmm. maybe why don't you start? Okay. (laughs) Who am I? Who are you? Yes. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. I help folks in relationships. I help folks experience more present moment living. And um, yeah, that's what I do. And you've been doing that for a while. I've been doing that for a really long time in the double digit numbers of, and and a couple of decades too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really long time. All right. And, Mm -hmm. and I am, I'm a few things I realized. Um, I have a PhD in, in history, 20th century history, but I'm, uh, these days I'm a writer and a Mm -hmm. kind of social commentator. I have a blog and I've published a, or I'm working on publishing a novel, Mm -hmm. that type of thing. But you and I are together, not because of that, but because, um, I connected with you in business circles a few Mm -hmm. years ago. And this is a really interesting story. Uh, we got to know each other a little bit that way. I was really interested in what you do, that this type of presence-based work that, that mm. this show is about. And uh, then one day out of the blue, you reached out to me via text. And because you kind of had a little disturbance in the force or something, yes. this is a good and way to put it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just kind of wondering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it happened to show up at a time when I was in one of the worst emotional spirals I'd been in in years. Uh, mm. That was really destabilizing for me. And I promptly ignored your text. <laughs> Yeah, that felt really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think you were worried about it, honestly. <laughs> uh, but a four days later, when it really was hitting hard, I reached out to you mm-hmm. and we set up a time to talk, which was like 15 minutes after that. It was Thursday at three o'clock. Mm-hmm. And this, what I started learning from you and started you know, processing with you and then doing this practice of presence work fundamentally made my life better. Mm-hmm. And so fast forward a while, I had, I said to you, one day I said, you know, you really need to write a book about this. This stuff really works. This worked more for me than anything else has ever worked. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've looked at a lot of things, right? And so I said, you should write a book about this. And what did you say to me? <laughs> uh, that sounds like a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Will you write it with me? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, sure. And then I had the brilliant idea, you know, you should do maybe a podcast to go with it. Mm-hmm. And But in, in fact, maybe you should do a podcast where you are... Um, we're collecting stories and interacting with people and use that as a basis for the book. Mm -hmm. And what did you say to that? Only if you do it with me, (laughs) something like that. (laughs) And here we are. And here we are. And here we are. And Mm -hmm. it's, it's been really amazing Mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And the the response to it has been super positive Mm -hmm. and you and I are having a blast. Yeah. It's great. Totally. It's great. So, Mm -hmm. so um, maybe from there, we should probably talk about the title right? Uh, breaking up with our yeah. BS. What do we actually mean by BS? Mm-hmm. And it's a very specific thing, right? That's mm-hmm. a term that gets thrown around a lot. Mm-hmm. But for us, yep. moving forward, for you, those of you who are new, mm-hmm. this means a very specific thing. So how would you describe yes. that? Well, we're talking to ourselves all day long, right? We've mm-hmm. got this running monologue going all day long. Sometimes we're paying attention to it. Sometimes we're not so much. But we have a lot of stories in there that are no longer helpful for us. Mm-hmm. Stories they, like what about? Um, our capabilities, mm. um, stories about ourselves, about other people, what they meant by, you know, their actions or what they <laughs> said, right? What were, 
you know, if we're going to be successful or not, or why we're not successful, right? right. They could be stories in, in our lot about our larger um, systems, like our families, communities, the world. Like mm -hmm. we are constantly telling ourselves something. The future or, or even the like past. the past. Mm -hmm. Like what do we, right. Those kinds yes. of stories. And they're, mm -hmm. they're ones that are no longer serving us. I think yes. you said. Um, yes. And that means... Right. It, well, it takes us out of the present moment mm -hmm. when we're in our stories. It sort of robs us from real connection, real ease and joy that we could be experiencing with another person right here, right now. Yeah. Or with ourselves. Yeah. 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 Right. And the fun part about this, which is the part that blew my mind mm -hmm. when I first uh, started experiencing this, it's simpler than we think. Way simpler to than get we there. think. Yes. To get there. Yeah. Way simpler than we think. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, for those of you just coming in, hopefully that sounds fun to you. And hopefully that sounds nice because mm -hmm. connection, uh, joy, <laughs> ease, lightness, uh, those are fun. things that we want fun. <laughs> who, right. want, who wouldn't want more of that? Fun. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and understanding ourselves better mm -hmm. and accepting ourselves more mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and understanding that, that reality doesn't have to be this scary thing that we actually have more control over how we are in a given moment than we actually think we do. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And we can be in reality no matter how uncomfortable that reality is. Mm -hmm. So and be okay. Yeah. And be okay. So we're going to talk all, a lot about all of those things over the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. Every week we get to talk about this. Every so exciting. Week. I know. I know. It's yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are kind of nerding out on it a little bit, but <laughs> but and it's not just because it's it's worked for us. We've seen it work for mm -hmm. so many other people, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um and it and it works. What I love about it is that this is a human thing. Yes, right. Our bodies know how to do this. Yes, right. We spent yes. I for me I know I spent a lot of time thinking my brain was mm -hmm. the very thing, the only thing that could get me through problems or could figure things out, mm -hmm. and learning that how the brain interacts with the rest of my body as an integrated system. And how they can, re they really are designed to work together mm -hmm. to help us get grounded in reality and be okay. Yeah. Blew me away mm -hmm. when I started to experience mm -hmm. it. Yeah. 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 Just from a simple sort of think about like how we get information mm -hmm. into our bodies, right? Just to be in the world. How do we do that? Right. We get it through our bellies, hearts, and our head. But mm -hmm. typically what we're doing is we're operating our whole existence, most of our existence day to day to day in our head evaluating, analyzing, uh, make, you know, make uh, decision making, mm -hmm. um, we're criticizing, we're blaming, we're doing all of the things from a headspace mm -hmm. and sort of disconnected from heart and belly. And there's a lot of information that comes through there that is really important for us to pay attention to. Yeah. And the neurochemistry of the brain, as we've talked about before, wants to fill in gaps when we don't know Yes. like a whole story of something. Mm -hmm. So our brain wants to like make meaning out of things. And yet if we, when I thought about it, when you first introduced this to me, I was like, oh yeah. So when, when I'm feeling anxiety and stress and I feel it in my gut, mm -hmm. that's not just a physical response. That's my body telling me something. Yes. Or when I feel super connected to somebody and, and from my heart, I can almost feel it. Mm -hmm. Right. No, you're not almost feeling it. You are feeling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then all right. those things working together. Mm -hmm gives a, provides a much clearer picture of the moment. Yeah. It's funny how we tend to think our thoughts, whatever's happening in the head is more real than those sensations or experiences in the body. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And that's, and we're going to debunk that. We are going to debunk that. Right. Yes. So that's kind of the junk that we're, that mm -hmm. we refer to with debunk mm -hmm. the junk, hashtag mm -hmm. debunk the junk. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So Hopefully you can tell how excited we get about this, <laughs> but maybe we should go with like a small story. Yeah, I have a story. Let's pick a BS story that's mm -hmm. small. Now these can be small or big. Mm -hmm. When I, when Tawny and I first connected on the work that I did, it was a big yeah. set of stories yeah. and and everybody will hear those more as time goes by. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe let's start with a small story. Yeah. You have a BS story that no longer serves you that you could share. You could I share. have a BS story that actually happened to me. On Sunday. Okay. Just at, recently. At the golf course. I'm sure lots of people who've been to a golf course before have experienced <laughs> something similar to I, this. I think I'm sure. <laughs> I have an idea where you're going. It's not an easy place, but it can be, yes, right? It it's can. a therapeutic place. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So 
so I'm a, I'm a learner of, of golf. I, I sort of started, picked it up, picked it up about a couple uh, years ago. My husband's been playing for a really long time with pieces of his life where he didn't play at all, but he grew up playing golf. So, you know, you've got those things working at a young age and his muscle memory is able to go back to it pretty easily, the whole mm -hmm. thing. So here we are. Sunday's really cold. I didn't bring enough warm clothes. I wasn't anticipating that it would be so cold, but I, but it was, and it was fine. By the second hole, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> and were you playing 18? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So by the second hole, I knew I was not on my game or anyone else's game at all. Um, I was struggling with just you know, making good contact with the ball, having it go where I wanted to go, having it even like go more than, you know, further, like, <laughs> like get closer to the hole. Right. So uh, I was struggling and I could tell maybe not by the second hole. But by the third or the fourth or the fifth hole, I was knee deep in my story. Okay. How I was never going to get this game. Why am I even out here? I didn't even bring enough warm clothes. It's way too cold and wet out here. I can't connect with, like, and, and here all the while, my husband is having one of the best games. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He's had. Of course he is. Ah, uh, right. The rule and, of the uh, course. It seems yes, like. yes. And yes. so he's, was he aware of any of this that you were? He was, well, it was clear I was struggling. Like if anybody else was around, they would, could tell I was struggling. So um, he was aware of that. I don't know that he was aware that I was like knee deep in my stories. Although, you know, I wasn't super pleasant in those moments. Mm -hmm. Um, so here he is wanting to enjoy his process as he, uh, as right, as he has a right to do. <laughs> Sure. Right. And and I being knee deep in those stories, it was really difficult to connect with his experience. Right. Or just to be there with him in mm -hmm. his experience. And not that I one experience trumps another, mm -hmm. but I basically, by staying in my stories, chose to in those moments that I was there, chose to disconnect, chose to protect myself. Look right. at this. I'm never going to be good at this. That's mm. about protection. So I shut down. Right. right. And so the quality of time that is available to me or it, it being present to what was what is possible in this moment. I mean, I couldn't get there. So you were kind of like ruining your own experience. Absolutely. And not being able to appreciate his experience and connect with him. Right. Wow. Right. Right. And that can happen whether we're talking about golf or anything else. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So exactly. how did you, how long did it take you to realize that? And what did you do to work through it? Yes. So at some point, maybe the fifth, sixth, seventh hole, I don't even remember. Right. But, but I was very clear that I was in my story. And when I'm in my story, what helps, and we're going to talk a lot about this, is to soften. 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 So what do I mean by soften? Soften my eyes. Soften my tongue. Allow my body to start to soften. Mm -hmm. Just saying that to myself, okay, soften soften some more. Just that word allows my body to relax, right? Mm -hmm. When I'm knee deep in my stories, as any of us, we're going to be all tense and rigid and contracted. Yeah. And we're even going to have tension in our face, right? <laughs> so that softening of the face to start, mm -hmm. softening of the tongue, softening of the eyes, that starts to engage the safety system of the body, which we're going to talk a ton about as we move on, mm -hmm. right? So then I began to release myself of the story, get into my body. I was okay. Just by saying soften. Yeah. Right. Just by saying soften and allowing, not forcing, just allowing softness in my face mm -hmm. as a starting point. And then, you know, you work with your breath and things like that. But that portal. Oh, yeah. Getting out of the head. Yeah. Out of the stories. Portal's a good word. Is to soften. To where soften. we start. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. The starting point is that simple. What I can tell everybody who's listening, that's a big word in our world, yeah. soften, <laughs> just to soften. Because when, not only when I say it, but when I hear you say it, mm -hmm. I soften. Right. Just now when you're saying that, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, there, there it is. <laughs> so when you, when you were saying that to yourself, so that portal, that sort of release of the story and what you started to see was your husband's having a fantastic day and I'm excited for him or that. Or, or just being able to be there present, mm -hmm. not wrapped up in, am I ever going to be good at this? Am I mm -hmm. wasting my time out here? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, 
whatever, all the things that come up yeah. about our capabilities. Oh man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I, I do that a lot and I can do it with lots of different things, mm -hmm. you know, trying to publish a book. It can be really tough to not get ahead, <laughs> you know, not mm -hmm. to make up a story. Mm -hmm. Like I'm never going to get it published or nobody's ever going to read it. Or I did all this for nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be really easy mm -hmm. to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, and in any kind of relationship that we have, mm -hmm. we can, we can have that the family member or significant other, that, that type of thing. Yes. You know, it was interesting this morning. We talked about another real quick story, a mm -hmm. uh, softening story. Mm -hmm. uh, just this morning, mm -hmm. I was on a zoom call mm -hmm. with a good friend of mine mm -hmm. who knows about this practice and knows mm -hmm. about softening. And we were talking and she asked me, she said, before we even start, can we just like do what she called she called it can we do one of those tawny things <laughs> and i said i said i said well i said i said i'm not tawny but yeah and i said how about just start let's start with soften mm -hmm. and i said you know just say to yourself soften and what do you notice mm -hmm. you notice like any change it can be like a millimeter yeah. mm -hmm. in your emotional state or the stress or the tension mm -hmm. and she did Mm -hmm. really quickly. And then kind of, she did the softening of the eyes, you know, the breathing and all those things, which we'll get into. Mm -hmm. uh, but just the word softening, mm -hmm. she even remarked on it at the end. She's like, just that all of a sudden just makes you somehow available mm -hmm. to open up yes. a little bit more. It's a really powerful word It is it in is. that sense. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. Right. And, mm -hmm. and again, no matter where you're coming from on it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, right. whether you think it's a woo woo thing or mm -hmm. it's a science thing, cause it is a biological thing. Yes. Um, but it works. <laughs> yes. Well, we get, we're going to talk more, but we get more into our safety system of the mm -hmm. body in, and that's where more of ourself is available to ourself. Mm -hmm. Right. That's where we get best, you know, our potential or the best out of ourselves. We don't access that when we're all tight and con contracted and, and, and constricted and mm -hmm. tense. Mm -hmm. We're more likely in a, in a low level or, or high level fight or flight. Right. That's not where we get our best self. If uh, by itself, if we are just right there, that's mm -hmm. not where we can access that. So Right. And now, but this also isn't freeze, right? In the, this isn't, you know, mm -hmm. that I, I, I think that's an important point to make. This yes. is, you know, fight, flight, mm -hmm. or freeze. Mm -hmm. The nervous system responses to whatever. Yeah. Th this isn't freezing. Nope. Presence work, as we call this, mm -hmm. isn't freezing. It's more flowing. It is open, flowing, curious, mm -hmm. creative. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. And connected. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, I, I, the, the way I, I first kind of understood it was one time when I was, we were actually talking about it and I was full of all these really strong emotions and mm -hmm. I have a history of believing or experiencing emotions as if they're bad or difficult, mm -hmm. it means something dangerous is about to happen or I need to run away or I need to flee from them. Mm -hmm. And what I learned in this process was no, those aren't the problems. Like having emotional responses like that could actually be the very legitimate responses to mm -hmm. whatever's happening. Right. The problem that I started to realize, it was all the stories I was making up. So mm -hmm. um, disappointment, like a relationship wasn't going to go the way I wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. To feel disappointment, sadness, frustration, confusion, mm -hmm. you know, pain, yeah. normal responses to that. The problem that was driving me crazy and driving me into the ground mm -hmm. were the stories I was making up about that because I was feeling all those things. It must mean I'm never going to find yep. a partner or there must be something wrong with me or, um, women are just unaccessible to me or impossible to understand, or, mm -hmm. um, I must be a terrible person or I just, mm -hmm. you know, those were the problems. And the thing, the thing about it was not only are those unkind things to say about myself, but boy, I could easily fashion those into worldviews about my life and about other people mm -hmm. that are going to go way beyond just that particular mm -hmm. relationship question mm -hmm. to affect every other area of my life. Yeah. And you're closed off. Closed off completely. Right. With those sorts of future like determinations, like this is what future I can tripping. access. Yeah. Future trip. Right. Like mm -hmm. closed. You're closed mm -hmm. and you'll not be able to get the best of yourselves in a closed state. And I did it with, you're right. And I did it with the past too, mm -hmm. because I made all these mistakes in the past. That means that today I'm not going to be able to do this, 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 mm -hmm. and this, or mm -hmm. 
I've missed my window yes. for this or whatever. Yes. I did so much of that. Mm-hmm. And if any of you are out there listening to this going, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. I do all of that. Mm-hmm. Not to worry. You're not the only ones. <laughs> and we still do it. Yes. We're humans. Uh-huh. But it's about, okay, so when we recognize we're doing it, mm-hmm. we have a choice. We can still do it. Mm-hmm. If you still want to do it, do it. Mm-hmm. No judgment. You can mm-hmm. still do it. Mm-hmm. And, or you can make a choice to soften and access presence and actually experience a little more Mm -hmm. peace, a little more joy, a little more ease, a little more connection. Just soften. Just your choice. Right. That, and that part was powerful for me too. And, and it's a a, a quick story as we're getting towards the end here. Um, when I first presented that, that same story to you, I just told, uh, all those emotions, right? Mm -hmm. I remember you said to me and it, it, I was almost like I could feel my head starting to explode when I said, here's all the things I'm feeling. And you said, okay, so you're feeling all this and you affirmed all that as normal responses and normal feelings. And then you asked me, does that need to be a problem that you're feeling all those things? Mm -hmm. And I remember like, you were like, what, 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 what? (laughs) Well, yes, because they're negative feelings. They are a problem by themselves. They aren't. And then, but by presenting it, does that have to be a problem? That choice Mm -hmm. came in. Because you were more or less saying, you can make this a problem, mm-hmm. a tr- you can choose for this to be yeah. a problem, yeah. or you can choose for it not to be. And while I struggled initially to get, to make sense of that or to internalize that, once I did, which didn't take very long, mm-hmm. it felt amazing because, of, wait a minute, I actually have choice mm-hmm. here. I'm not completely dependent on the winds of the world and the winds of my life to, uh, to blow me around. Right. That was really cool. Yeah. And I, so, and I like to think in analogies, everybody. So I, I mm-hmm. use those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. It kind of, to me, it was the difference between being like out in the ocean in a boat with no oars and no sails, just completely at the mercy of the waves of the winds or whatever. That's how I used to feel a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. And this type of work, all of a sudden it was like, learning how to steer and getting an outboard motor Mm -hmm. and some oars or some sails and navigational charts Mm -hmm. and a crew, Mm -hmm. right. Of other people to help me. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about it was because of that choice and that type of thing, there's no real risk of me sinking Mm -mm. or drowning because I would have to choose that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. It's a fantastic space to be in. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, you know, I catch myself every day. Mm -hmm. Telling stories, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Needing yeah. to soften. Yes, yes. Right. So that's why we do this. And that's why we're going to continue to talk about softening mm-hmm. and more in later episodes. Yes, absolutely. Because, um, and it's really simple, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it's, it's, there are, there's not a million moving parts to what we're talking about, but there are a million applications yes. and a million areas in our lives that can do this. And that's really what this is about, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's about, making our lives and realizing that we can make our lives simpler, Mm -hmm. more open, more connected, lighter, Mm -hmm. that, you know, less heavy. And, and and honestly, it doesn't matter what the challenges that we may have, what they might be, what, whatever our family situation might be, our personal situation, whatever diagnosis we might have or Mm -hmm. anything like that. Mm -hmm. This is something that can help anybody, 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 because it's hardwired into our Mm -hmm. sense of being human Mm -hmm. that that part to me is the Mm -hmm. is the amazing part yeah so as you're moving through your week soften remember to soften right because that's really that's that's i think that's a good like way to go with this is Mm -hmm. is between now and next week Mm -hmm. just try that out everybody try softening just saying to yourself soften and see what you notice Mm -hmm. and you don't really have to do anything with it other than that right it's none of this is done perfectly We're not looking for a perfect application. We are just going to be open Mm -hmm. to what we notice with the softening. There's Mm -hmm. not a whole lot of effort. Don't tense yourself up to soften because that won't work. (laughs) And don't overthink the softening. (laughs) Don't overthink it and don't make it too complicated. (laughs) Yes. Right. Well, so that's everyone's task for next week. Mm -hmm. It's just to focus on on softening. And then then next week when we see you again uh, or you hear us again, uh, we'll have something else to talk about. Uh, but for now, thank you for joining mm-hmm. us for this episode of Breaking Up with RBS. I am JDK Winnikin. 
I am Tani Santabria. And make sure you find us our YouTube channel um, and our Facebook group under those same names. And uh, our podcast is available, will be available on your favorite platform. Um, and so join us next week to mm -hmm. uh, debunk some more junk. And uh, between now and then, just keep softening it, people. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. How you all feel tonight? Stop, stop, stop. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I do the live ones too. Yes, I know. I saw your act in the theater. You're really quite good. Quite a certain harmful habit. Now I, yeah. I don't think he felt anything after the crash. Who's